Hi and welcome to my OERT channel. So today we will give you, you know, some methods on how you will play this classic SNES cart to your SFC cart here or this SFE cart, SFC ah. cart rather, to this SNES or Super Nintendo Entertainment, Entertainment System classic vintage console which is a 1991 console and this one is a 1993 console and these methods no, will be uh, given to you and illustrate to you using this SFC since uh, this SNES here is a defective one sorry this is for just for illustration purposes. so let's sit back and relax and enjoy the tutorial videos thank you Okay, we have five methods for having uh, your Super NES or SFC to play with these cartridges here. And we have the first method. Okay, but on all of the five methods that I will show you, only two is recommended. Okay, this first is not recommended, recommended definitely. Okay, so what you will do is, uh, as you can see on the bottom of the cartridges, the reason why you cannot play your SFC cartridge is there's no slots here. So you can see from the bottom of your SFC. Okay, so you can see these slots. Okay, so in that case, if you want to play all of the SFC cards, you need to modify your SNES here. So if you open this flip top here, you can see two slots this first slot here and this slot these two slots if you trim this trim this down these two slots then okay you can see here the camera this one and this one okay if you trim that one using a cutter okay, okay you can now play your SFP, SFC cards but this will destroy the integrity of your console and that is not recommended here for our uh, conversion okay for the second we will discuss that in the next video okay for our next method is for the SFC okay for the SFC the reason why you cannot play your SNES cards is simply on the orientation of the tab here tabs meaning the insert slots okay for the sfc okay so you do not need to do this this is just a, uh, a method if you want okay the uh, uh the length is 135 and the width here is 15 in terms of centimeters you can have your ruler and then okay you need to measure it up here and then have a pen and then from there you need to have okay this orientation here like this so all you have to do is to cut some of the edges of your Famicom here or SFC by using a cutter definitely this is your cut okay but I don't recommend you to do this this is just an alternative and in that way, okay, the cartridges, okay, like this, can now be inserted to your SFC. Let's have the third option or third method. Okay, so we are on method number three, right? Now, in method number three, what you will do is... Uh, this is an SF, SF, SFC card, so you can do this vice versa, SNES to SFC or here SFC to SNES. Uh, I have here the card and a special tech screw. So this screw here, I will put down the link you know, on the description page, page 
where I uh, bought this one. Okay, so all you have to do is to unscrew this one in a counterclockwise motion. So please be aware of this screw here. So small, now it can be lost. Okay, another one. So, so easy, right? So you need to have the tools, right tools. So you need to place it here, safe place. So now, so this is a tester, so we will make use of this later. So just uh, slowly, okay, and then you can see, okay, the chip. So this one, please, please be aware, okay, this is the front, and this is the back of this uh, uh, chip here. So what you will do is to take this one, and then insert it on your S nest here. So please take note the orientation. Okay, and then from here, you can uh, place this like this, and then turn on the power. But I don't recommend ah. you to do this. There's a possibility that you will be electrocuted here. Right? This is a live circuit. So hence, if you do this, please take note, it must be off. Okay, when you insert the cartridge and then you turn it on. Okay, so let's move on to the fourth one. Okay, the fourth method is, uh, again, we unscrew this one, no, this tester here. Okay, and then all you have to do is to okay, remove no, this uh, chip, cartridge chip here. Okay, I already... Uh, remove the screw from uh, method number three and call it tester and then from your uh, SNES here so we need to move, remove the screw as well so what you will do is to okay, remove the screws okay well, don't worry it's faster as long as you have the right tools Okay, and then all you have to do is this SNES cartridge must be placed here on your SFC. So please take note of the orientation must be this is the front. So don't worry, you will not be uh, confused here because you have some special slots. So in this case, you need to open this one and then put this here so you can see perfectly fit the only uh, 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 way that is prevented that is uh, being uh, inserted on your uh, SFC SNES is the uh, the slots and the uh, uh, here the orientation of the uh, cartridges so from here you can have this place here and then you can now play your SNES cartridge so this is one recommended method okay we will have the other one no the fish method in the next video okay so the last method or the most practical type which we will have a video there for number five is you need to buy this one so this is the sfc sns sns sfc converter or vice versa I bought it on the marketplace, but again, not all of the devices and the equipments on the marketplace works. Because when I bought this one, I need to troubleshoot you know, this cartridge here because inside, as you can see on the pics, are uh, treated by molds, rust, and anything. I need to clean everything, you know, all, all of the pics. But one advantage of this being thrown here is you can use you know, uh, some graphics cards here. So you can see here, you have the 72 pins and the other expansion here. So you can uh, play those. So the advantage of this one is just plug and play. For example, from the SFC here, okay, you can place this up here. And then you can play your SNES game. Okay, just with the push of your eject button, you can also play your SFC games. And it can be done vice versa here. Simply because this one is made 
flexible okay so just place it there and then you can now play your games okay with the push of the button then power okay we will make use of this we have a video for this one in a little while please stay tuned okay so testing so this is the uh, uh, cartridge of your SNES here from method number four and this is your test okay, please take note okay this is the uh, uh, cartridge of that SFC okay and then I replace it by an SFC I think here definitely it will work let's see oh yeah just one click and then nostalgia it's okay one of my favorites from my high school uh, game street fighter which every day when i went home i will uh, go to the arcade and i will play this one definitely my favorite player is like okay so let us test this the fifth one okay And the last method is, again, we will make use of this Vintron SFC, SNES, SNES Atlas SFC Converter. And this is the original Street Fighter. Okay, SNES for our sample. Okay, you can play your SNES cartridge here. And again, with a click of the power button, here we go again. Okay, now if you're wondering if you can still play your S SFC uh, cartridges here, okay, we can uh, insert an SFC cartridge. Okay, let's uh, have a sample here. Okay. So we'll power off and then exit. Okay, let us have Dragon Ball. Okay. Just a little bit of a man of a, of a dragon here, not the magic dragon. Okay. okay, that's the secret. Big Piki Toss! Alright! This is Dragon Ball Z. So again, thank you very much for viewing my videos here. So hopefully you uh, uh, have some uh, uh, that I helped you know, for uh, this uh, tutorial for retro gaming. See you again for other for our next videos. Thank you and like this one. Oh yeah, nostalgia.